Right, the MEC for Health in Gauteng earlier went to the Sabukeng Hospital after uh, reports that the hospital has not been operational at all as a result of the strike by Nahau affiliated workers. For more on this, we are joined now by the Gauteng MEC for Health, Nomantu uh, Nkomo Ralohoko. Very good evening to you and thank you so much for speaking to us, MEC. Perhaps let's just first start with the general conditions in Gauteng, what the health minister said earlier on with regards to um, the deaths of four, he said that could possibly be attributed to the strike by Nahau members. Has there been definitive findings that have uh, been established? And if so, um, what was the method? How was this determined if uh, Nahau workers were responsible? Now, at the moment, we have not done any autopsy, so we cannot confirm that uh, those deaths are, are the results of strike. And I was the minister didn't say the strike has caused the death. He said it might be, maybe during the strike they were affected by that. Mm. So MEC, it's something that we why? still need to investigate and show. Right, right. MEC, which is it, why it might be something I asked that the question. We'll do. Yes. So that's why I'm saying at least we can't say yes, said that. Let's let's still um, allow the process because we are still going to investigate what happened so that we need to know exactly what has happened to the death or why uh, the four that is uh, demised, what was the results and we are still going to do some in investigation. So we still need a report that, ma that we must get from the from the a report from the clinicians and once we get that report we'll be able to know exactly what happened here mm. Let me see. I think you may have either misheard me or misunderstood me. I did say the minister did say may have, and if there were any studies done to yes. determine this. But let's go no, to. No, no, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Okay, let's talk about the mm -hmm. fact that uh, the ministry and the department uh, are saying that you are talking to your various legal teams to consider what action to take regarding the death. So, what would inform this? So, if you're already talking to your legal teams, on what basis? Are you talking to them if you are saying the deaths may have been? No, what we are doing at the moment, which we have received, is the, is the interdict, which we applied to bring the situation to normal. Then at the moment, we have not spoken to the legal team about any death that has happened to the hospital. Once the situation subsides, then we must start pre preparing a report that will talk to all the issues that has happened during the process of strike. Then that's the only time that I will be able to give you the report to all of you so that you are able to know exactly what happened. But the situation is improving a bit today because as we speak, I'm still here at Simugeng Hospital because I wanted to know and check if doctors are on site and some nurses are on site because we've made some plans to make sure that some of the people are on strike, are, 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 that are on strike come back to work. We even had a meeting at six o'clock today with the leadership of Nihau, where we have agreed that let's ease up a bit so that there are some workers that must come and be at work so that we prevent further situations that can create something that will all be a blow to all of us as a province. And the leadership of me always agreed that let's have a plan so that tomorrow most of the people that are not at work, not all of them, some will have to come. They will and they, they understand the situation where we come from when we made that proposal. And we have had an agreement with them that we will work together, we will prevent this situation that there must be a total shutdown in Smoke. Because what has really frustrated all of us. It was the total shutdown that happened yesterday in particular, where they even come and take doctors and nurses that were on site and take them outside so that they can go and join the strike. 
Let me see, we saw that some Gauteng hospitals experienced what could be called as a total shutdown. You're talking about Sabokeng, where you are at the moment, but there also have been challenges, I understand, according to your department, that remain at Begi Mlangeni, Kopanong, uh, Telele, Mwerani, and Helen Joseph hospitals. What yes. are those uh, challenges that are being experienced, and is it something that can be remedied by tomorrow? This morning, we went to Charlotte Matlag and then we moved to uh, uh, Helen Joseph. The situation was fine there. People were coming in, although there were some workers that were still doing outside. But work was happening. There is no crisis at Helen Joseph. At Telemorane, we've made some measures again to ensure that we prevent the situation where there will be a total shutdown. But still, workers were still outside some of them toy toying. And then at Kopanong, the situation is normal too. So everything is fine. And then at Bara, we have seen that there were workers that were toy toying outside next to the gate. And then at the, at the end of there was that commotion that you can see. So, but that those are the things that has happened. At Bekimilang, the minister went there. And I know that after he has left, conditions changed and everything was fine even at Bekim Langen. Mm. So that's the status now of what's happening in our institutions. And I think by tomorrow, definitely most workers will be coming to work. Although they will not come, um, all of them, they will, be, they will take turns as with the agreement that we've reached with the leadership of the union which is now in our province. Mm. Minister, there's so much to ask you, and unfortunately I don't have time, including the fact that um, I, I wanted to find out details about the catch-up program that you have set up for patients who were summarily yes. dismissed. But let's talk about the discussions that are underway with Nahau, you say there's been an agreement to limit, if not stop, the disruptions at hospitals. What exactly is that agreement? Can you give us details of it? Because it's not a written agreement, it was our own meeting that we have to agree that let's ease up now a bit in terms of the strike, in terms of the pressure, so that we have limited times that some of the members will come into some mm, But what does ease up look like? So we have not said... What does uh, ease up, ease up look, look like? Like some of those that were... The agreement was that those who want to come to work allow them to get in, don't stop them, because that was the pressure that we were having. That those that are getting in now, they will, be, they will be stopped by the workers outside. So that is the ease up that I'm talking about to you. That we have agreed that we will continue with the services in the hospital. So this is what we wanted from them, and we're pleading that. Let's not shut down all the activities, because there are patients that are inside that still needs us to take care of them. And now leadership has agreed on that. And we are happy with that too. Yes or no, have they agreed to also observe the court interdict? The court interdict is that they are aware of it and they will be observing it here All in right. those specific issues that are there in the court interdict. All right. Thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. Gauteng Health MEC Nomantu Nkomo Ralehoko speaking to us about the latest situation with regards to the Nahau strike and its affiliates at various hospitals, particularly in Gauteng. As you heard her, they say that she is in uh, at Simukeng Hospital at the moment. She says the situation has calmed down, that uh, services have resumed at many of the hospitals. At Charlotte McLeague, I remember they said that uh, it's up to 90% operational.